Jaden Simcoe from SLTV. Tell us about coming out here and supporting such an awesome, amazing event. Man, I, I couldn't be like at any place better. This is like being at my Comic Con for me. Like Comic Con hasn't happened yet, but this is like t the, the Comic Con of TV. You know. You know. Speaking of that, this is your Comic Con. You know, there's 60 years of television compri comprised in this exhibit. Which one? What what TV show did you grow up on that's so memorable to you? Well, I grew up on a lot of cartoons. I actually moved out here wanting to be uh, like the next big voiceover star. That didn't happen for me. But like I grew up on Looney Tunes, but also like I grew up, my mom raised me on Golden Girls and so many sitcoms, a lot of British TV. Um, uh, Friends was a Obviously. big part of my life. Obvi I mean, like yeah. I'm like a 90s kid, so Friends is like a big part of my life. Frasier too, I love Frasier. And um, Wings, just so many sitcoms. You said you wanted to be um, a voiceover actor. Do you have any voices in uh, in the treasure box? I do. And you know, the, I, I'm a huge fan of Billy West, okay. um, who, who do, who's on Futurama. But it's like, it's like you, you can't really like do impressions of people, you know, who are still doing voiceover. But do you, do you have any originals? Any original voices? Oh, any original voices. Um, you know, I just um, did um, a guest star in Kung Fu Panda. Where where oh, nice. where I have like a, a like a Japanese samurai accent. That you gotta you gotta talk to me in the in the Japanese samurai uh, voice. So so my character he says things like Master Shifu, I am here, and he has like this big booming voice. How did you? Very bushido, very zen. Did you did you have that before coming into the show, or did they just ask you can you do a Japanese samurai voice? Um, well for that show I auditioned for it, but like I act I, I majored in Japanese. So Japanese was like something like easily that I could do. Okay. And let's talk something closer to home. Two broke girls. Two broke girls. So there's a lot of lesbian jokes in there. What's up with that? I don't know. I don't know. Not that I'm complaining or anything. I'm, I'm definitely not complaining. complaining. Either. I'm not complaining either. I, <laughs> we had this one joke about like Beth being like a golden retriever. I, I don't know. There was like some like, I love the lesbian jokes. I think they should keep coming. I think all the raunchy jokes should keep coming. I don't know. I think the writers just like to have fun. You guys are absolutely amazing. The show is great. All the characters are awesome. Uh, congratulations on wrapping up uh, your first season. And you guys are moving on to the next. Is there anything else that we can be watching out for? Oh, for me? Yeah. Um, no. I mean, I've got some fires going for this summer for movies. So hopefully that takes off. Keep the fingers crossed for Matthew Moy. Hi, I'm Matthew Moy, and I'm uh, here at the Paley Center exhibit for Out of the Box for television. We're watching you on SLTV. And you're, you're watching me on SLTV.